Kia ora and welcome back. My name is Zoe at your vocal coach for today. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Blackpink, Pretty Savage, live at Coachella. Let's see what they're up to with their vocal technique. Coachella, are you ready for this one? Okay, oh my goodness me, I love the beat to this song. Now you can really clearly hear that there is a track going on in the background. Now please, without you yelling at me in the comments, Blackpink do not get to make these decisions about whether there is a track in the back or not. It's often the management, it's often the label that's made that decision, it's not themselves. They are wonderful, very capable performers, and the powers that be have decided that they want Blackpink to have a track in the background. They're also dancing full out as well, um, but it also just adds a little bit of that let's say the depth behind the singers there. I don't know anything about rap, so I'm not gonna say anything about that. I also don't speak Korean, but um, it sounded really clear to me. I understood fuck boys. <laughs> But I'm really loving that stable, thick vocal fold action as well going on through that rap section. Let's get watching. I mean, goodness me, you definitely can't fault them on this one. If they're going to dance and sing like this for the entire show, which I'm sure they did, I mean, <laughs> take my hat off to them. That is hardcore. Like, this is like elite athlete level of fitness right here. I lovely thick vocal fold. As I say, a lot of this is a little bit more rap. Uh, so what we're wanting to do is really speak more on pitch, get a great firm contact of those vocal folds. And while we're probably gonna go into Rose's section, um, you can see that she's got quite a high larynx, but again, very, very thick vocal fold. The melody's not moving around too much, um, but I mean, this is obviously all about the show and not necessarily about their vocals as much. <laughs> Bitches, you have mad it, so we all know what we're headed Pretty, pretty, pretty savage. Pretty girl, 
Ajdić. And you can see there as well, she's fiddling around with her microphone, she's fiddling around with her inner ears. Rosé, it looks like she's having a little bit of trouble hearing things, but we'll never know because we're not inside her head, are we? I, I love that as well when she's going, da, 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 da. she's got a little bit of air coming through, but you can see it's very, I mean, as I said, she's a, she, this is like elite athlete level of singing and dancing okay so but she's got nothing going on in here in the head and the neck um it looks very very cool calm and collected for her it means that she's practiced as they have practiced this day in and day out i'm loving the way that you've got this very very light but th again thick vocal folds it's still a chest voice sound even though it's not necessarily a very loud sound at that so it's a big big thing that often people miss out is that chest voice does not necessarily have to be like full-on loud Savage. You know. Okay, admittedly, I was hoping for a little bit more singing. Obviously, it is all about the, the huge performance when it comes to Coachella, but still a fantastic performance. These ladies are absolutely amazing. Let me know what your favorite bit was down the bottom. Um, I definitely think this is going to go on like my workout playlist because it's got a fantastic beat. And I'm loving that it doesn't necessarily have to be about vocal fireworks, lots of riffs and runs and all that sort of jazz in order to be a good song. Um, this sort of reminds me very much of like, uh, like proper pop, if you could say that, like Britney going back to it, not always being about the singing, but definitely about the performance, the dancing, the show and everything like that. Um, very, very cool. So check out some other of my Blackpink reactions over here and I look forward to seeing you here next time. Kaki Daniel.